Jordan, you're on with Tana. Hello. Jordan. Tana. Okay, I want you to know that even though you can't see me, I applied some lip gloss. You've got that effect on us girls, you know. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm flattered. Thank you. All right, Jordan Nathaniel Marcel Knight. When your mom called you by your full name, did you know you were in trouble? Oh, yeah. And it took her at least an hour and a half to say it. <laughs> Such a long name. It's crazy. Now, your brother Jonathan is also in the band. Since he's a couple of years older, does he still try to boss you around? Um, yeah. I usually listen to him also. Because um, when, he, when he bosses me around, he's usually right. Okay, since you were one of six kids, let me know if you did this growing up. My boys are always yelling, shotgun, when they leave the house. They're fighting over the front passenger seat. Did you and your siblings do that? No. Uh, I'm trying to think of what we really fought over. Uh, we more of like fought over like clothes and stuff like that. <laughs> so did you wear hand-me-downs from your brother? Oh, yeah, I had plenty of hand-me-downs. I had plenty. I even had hand-me-downs from uh, the Donnie's brothers, which is pretty funny. New Kids, one of the biggest boy bands ever. Now, you know you've hit the big time when you have your own doll. Do you still have one at your house? I do not let any dolls into my house. Only action figures. I have two boys. Um, no, actually, I don't have those dolls. I don't have them, no. My mom has the whole collection in, in her basement. Also. Well, of course. But they shouldn't be in the basement. They should be proudly displayed over the mantle. Oh, no, 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 no. Jordan Knight of New Kids on the Block on with me. Jordan, you used to wear a black rubber ring around your wrist, which sparked a craze. I'm betting you that a lot of my working girls still have those. Um, those black rubber bands, uh, a lot of break dancers wore them. Actually, Madonna wore them. Not saying that I was really into Madonna fashion or anything, <laughs> but uh, a lot of kids in my neighborhood wore those things. So I just kind of like threw a couple on, and you know, when you're that famous, whatever you do kind of catches on. After uh, a lot of fans saw me wearing those things, they would send them to me. They would bring them to shows. They would throw them at me. So uh, I ended up wearing a lot of them. All right, let's talk about the tour. Who takes up more space backstage? New Kids on the Block or the Backstreet Boys? Well, they have one less member, and we haven't gone on tour yet, so that's yet to be discovered. Um, I'm sure with both groups being there, we're going to take up a lot of space. And uh, we plan on setting up a, a full court basketball court in every city that we go to. So we'll be using a lot of space. Is it new kids against the Backstreet Boys in the basketball games? Um, most likely. Yeah, <laughs> most likely. And uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to predict that, that the new kids would, would take them. All right, Jordan Knight, New Kids on the Block on with me. They're coming to the Sprint Center in July. Rick Springfield hosts an annual party cruise for his fans, and I understand that you all do the same. Yeah, we so far we've had two annual cruises. Uh, we're doing it. We're doing another one this uh, this May. I never thought it'd be something that that we would do. Actually, we did one a long time ago for with Coca Cola. Yeah, that's right. Um, but it really is it's a great time and it's a, it's a great time to uh connect with our fans and, and it's kind of a mini vacation for all of us you know you're so famous and you've been on stage most of your life but i saw you on oprah a while back and you were talking about your panic attacks how did you overcome that i didn't re necessarily have panic attacks i did what i did have stage fright that's what i was talking about um how did i overcome it, it it's funny that that i would have stage fright but it turns out that a lot of uh, entertainers do have stage fright. So, uh, you know, I would just visualize myself doing an okay job or being being afraid and still going through it. And uh, just with enough kind of visualizations and, and actual real-life practice, I was able to not be so afraid of it. Okay, you were in one of the hottest boy bands ever, still going strong. But do you have any advice for Justin Bieber, who is the it boy of the moment? I would say the number one thing would be to um, surround yourself with good people because when you get to that fame, there's a lot of people that want to bring you down. And then there's a lot of people that want to blow smoke up, you know, up your backside to just get close to you. So you kind of lose perspective of, you know, reality and who you are. When you were that young, did all of the screaming girls freak you out? Kind of. Uh, yeah, kind of. Uh, <laughs> um, the energy was so intense. It's still intense, but it's calmer now. But back then, it was like, you'd go on stage, and it would just be like, from the moment you stepped on stage to the moment you left, it would be just one loud scream, basically. I think it would be flattering, but yet a little bit scary. I mean, did you ever feel threatened, even though they were young girls? Did you ever feel like, oh my gosh, I could be in danger here? No, I never felt too much in danger. You can't really get kissed to death. <laughs> um, so... 
<laughs> so I never, you know, a lot of people are like, don't you think they'll come up and strangle you and kill you? No, they really just want to uh, kiss us and love us. Right. So you can't really die from that. So I never felt really threatened. Well, Jordan, we're really looking forward to you guys coming, and you all look amazing. You haven't changed. You've gotten a little older, but you still have great bodies, and the fans Ooh. will still be screaming. I hope so. That's the desired effect. Definitely. You know, I just want to say I'm just really grateful for uh, for the fans and for them giving us the chance to uh, come back and, and do what we love to do. Well, we'll be screaming at the Sprint Center and trying our best to kiss you to death. <laughs> Great. We'll see you there. Thanks a lot.